what's going on guys it's shibi p baby welcome back to another weekly review i hope everybody's doing well and let's get straight into things so we are going to start on the monthly and that's because we have started a new month last week so we're now in the month of february and we're going to start on the dixie as per usual so you can see that we have this nice volume imbalance right here that we can see ourselves working our way towards and if you recall last month i, I was talking about the commitment commitment of traders report and on the commitment of traders we found that we are net long um, the commercials are net long on dollars so th that is like, it's like my foundational understanding of where the market is uh, moving to so in terms of it being bullish that's what's carrying that understanding right now so i am looking for mainly um, bullish pdra to trade to anyway we have january here the month of january you can see we traded right through nearly taking out the high of december and again we've just opened in february last week so I'd like to think that we can see a nice continuation into this fair value gap. So not really too, too, nothing too complicated. We can drop down to the weekly and we can start to outline where we want to see price drawing to exactly. So here we have relative equal highs. If you've been watching my videos, pretty much all of these weeks, the past five weeks, I've had my eyes set on these relative equal highs. So if price does reach down here for say the manipulation of the week to create the Judah swing, if price does do that, then at least we know that we can start looking for buys on dollar for us to be long with an expectation to reach for this buy side liquidity and the relative equal highs we're starting to form up here. So what I am going to do, I am going to remove this purely because I don't really want monthly PDRAs on here, but um, these relative equal highs are definitely a target for the new week. Finally, um, like I said, it's taken a while to get through all of this and that's understandable with there being a bearish order block here, it causes higher resistance. But again, with us just starting February, I'd like to think that the markets have loosened up and we can start to work our way towards these relative equal highs. So this is our target for next week. And then in terms of this fair value gap here that we see on the weekly, so from this low to this high, the highest I'd like to see price trade um, next week would likely be this bearish order block. So I'm also gonna mark out that. But yeah, you can see we have this massive imbalance and price is going to seek to fill that in. So again, here's last week, you can see we traded down. We traded down into the range of the previous week and then we closed higher. Now, it's nice to see that we're closing higher. The fact that we close above this, again, it's all showing bullish behavior and a, um, a willingness to want to trade higher, which is all good. Um, and like I said, we're edging towards those relative equal highs where price is going to want to draw to. Another thing to take note of is how price treated the inversion fair value gap. And this is the inversion fair value gap I'm talking about. So you'll see that this was delivered on the downside and then the upside, price dipped into it once, dipped into it twice last week, again, um, showing um, showing support at this level again adding confluence to the reason as to why i want to see price trade higher another thing to take note of is the midpoint which is what we call consequent encroachment you can see our price is respecting that level here and here and again closing higher so all of these things are coming into play when we're looking at higher prices i am going to keep this on the screen just so we can um, um, appreciate the fact that we're respecting this pd array and that price is going to want to continue into this imbalance Another thing that I am going to bring our attention to as well is going to be the mean threshold of this bearish order block. And that's because price should also find support on that. So let's just get that drawn out. And in all fairness, I'd prefer not to see price trade any lower than this within the new week, as again, I'd like to think it would provide support for us to run into this imbalance. So now we can drop down to the daily and get a close look at what we're expecting to find. And you can see that we had a large expansion with non-farm payroll on the Friday, again, running towards that buy side liquidity. Now that means that Monday is likely going to be a good day to trade. The Mondays after non-farm payroll, ICT states are always good to be trading. So we can take that into consideration moving into the new day. And then you can see this level, which we just marked out for the mean threshold as to where I'd expect us to find support and potentially the, potentially the low of the week. So if price does want to trade back down, into this bullish order block and towards this weekly mean threshold this is where i'd be expecting to find longs on dollar and obviously shorts on the pairs we also have these uh, relative equal highs that are only visible on the daily so price will want to draw to that as well which is also buy side liquidity i am going to delineate that like so but overall the draw is definitely most definitely here and i'd like to think that we can see the low of the week get created at this mean threshold another thing to take note of is if we take a look at this wick from the from the bullish order block you'll also see how that wick uh, consequent encroachment lines up pretty much perfectly with that um, weekly mean threshold again showing that this level should provide strong support so now let's go down to the four hour and you can see the kind of weird week we had we do actually have a break that's formed as well which is also in line with that weekly mean threshold so we have a low we have a high we have a lower low and then you can see our price 
trade was aggressively higher and is rolling towards that buy side liquidity. And if you look at where that last up close candle, which is the breaker, lines up with that weekly threshold. So that's three different time frames that we've found this level being referred to. We've seen it on the weekly with the mean threshold off the order block. We've seen it on the daily with the wick off the bullish order block. And then now we're seeing it here um, with the pre with the midpoint off this breaker block. So again, we should anticipate this level to provide support. I'm going to draw this out and we're going to look at the midpoint as that's the level which lines up with the mean threshold. And as price comes down into here, this is where we're going to be anticipating to find longs and for, price, um, for smart money to be accumulating their position to release in that um, above the buy side liquidity. Let's drop down to the hourly, just to have a better look. You can see we're kind of just coming into a consolidation, so I wouldn't be surprised if Monday started a little bit slow, but I'm anticipating and wanting to see price dip lower into this range. Again, looking at this bearish order block that should now provide support. And we're looking to see a reaction at this level for us to start looking for longs on dollar. So it's really that simple, guys. Um, and you can see how when you do have large expansion weeks, well, large expansions like this, it's easier to start to frame an outline and understanding of how we want the next week to play out. And it's pretty much just a simple week in terms of creating the low and then seeing price work its way up to this buy side liquidity with a potential reach for this. Because we know that there's that massive monthly imbalance up there and that monthly bearish order block up there as well. So let's go over to GBP and see what we can find, very similar. We'll start on the monthly as well. And you can see here's January's trading, February so far. And again, we've got this classic three candle um, ICT pattern, as in we've created a turn in the market, as in, so we should now anticipate January's low to get targeted and December's low to get targeted. Also, similar to dollar, we have a fair value gap residing below here. So price is going to want to draw to that, meaning that we can draw this out as a draw on liquidity from the south side. And then I'm also going to draw out this bullish order block because this, again, if price manages to reach down here, I'd anticipate a strong reaction off of that level. So let's now go down to the weekly. And you can see how much of a consolidation we've been in for the past few weeks. But finally, we're starting to see some movement out of that consolidation. So again, we have this swing low to target and these relative equal lows with a very small fair value gap just below that south side liquidity. So I'm going to get that drawn out because at least we know that once we grab these stops, price will likely want to continue to seek this, this um, imbalance right here on the weekly. So we have this wick as well, consequent encroachment of this. This is going to be the lowest, the highest I'd expect price to trade in the new week. On the four hour, you can see a clear breaker. We have a high, a low, a higher high. So what we're looking at is the last down close candle, which is right here. And what we can do is we could drag that out and we can anticipate this to provide the resistance we need to propel price lower. You can also see that lines up nicely with that um, consequent encroachment from the daily. So everything's starting to come into play. And then we have this massive four hour imbalance as well, which price is going to seek to fill residing below these relatively equal lows. If we go down to the one hour, you can see again, we've kind of just entered a consolidation, but um, in the new day, a new week, I anticipate price to trade into here, find resistance. I'd be waiting for a break in market structure for me to then enter on a short position with an expectation to run for the south side liquidity down here. And we can anticipate us to find resistance at this bullish order block over here. So I'm gonna get that marked out just so that we know that once we hit that level, we can anticipate some kind of retracement. But overall, I do wanna see this south side liquidity get tagged. We will drop down to the 15 minute as well. Again, you can see that consolidation. Price may want to reach up and take out these stops above this high and this high. There is a small fair value gap just above the breaker. So price may want to wick inside of that. Again, grabbing, that, um, grabbing some buy stops before expanding to the downside. You'll also find that we also have relative equal lows now behind below here. So this low and this low, there's going to be stops residing below here. So if price is, if price is going to manipulate, what it will do is it will move higher again with anticipation to trade into this imbalance to then turn around and run lower. Let's now go to finish on Euro. We'll start on the monthly with Euro as well. And Euro has a very small monthly imbalance that I want to see it get traded to. However, it's almost at that level already, so we can probably anticipate it's going to tr trade deeper than that. But overall, 
we want to see price draw to this monthly imbalance if we go down to the weekly you can see that we've had a large down close week from euro last week we have relatively equal lows right here which south side is going to be residing below so we can get that marked out and you see that lines up with a bullish order but which isn't ideal but once we drop down to low time frames we should be able to identify some kind of imbalance that price should seek to fill so we have that bullish order block here and this massive imbalance which hasn't been filled yet so again we want to see if price can uh, propel lower into that and in terms of the highest i'd want to see price trading on euro next week we can go up to the four hour and we can identify another breaker we have a high low high high but you can see that we're still pretty much in the breaker as in price is still trading with inside of it so that's not ideal however we do have a inversion fair value gap which should provide resistance so we've lived on the upside here then the downside meaning that up here if price manages to reach into these levels we can anticipate there to be resistance for us to start looking for shorts but obviously we'd be looking at this in line with the dollar anticipating it to make it slow again these are similar to the swing highs we just saw on pound so if euro does want to trade higher and run out these buy stops before moving lower we know that we can start hunting for shorts just above here with an expectation to run for these lows and into this monthly fair value gap again relative equal lows have formed what's interesting is that pound took out its um, swing low here whereas euro has not so we'll see how it treats it in the new week however overall i'd like to think that we can see the high high of the euro get made early in the week with an expectation to break lower and run for these south stops and that imbalance so that's going to be everything guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you tomorrow peace